change your state. They take you from being bored to being fun. My personal belief is learning should be like this. It should be like this. And beyond. Some people think that learning is kind of like this. And it goes all the way down to the floor and through the floor into the basement. It's so boring. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I'd like to speak and train because I want to change people's thinking about how to learn and, and different ways that are fun for them and are effective for them because everybody learns differently, right? Now it's time for nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication. One of my favorite things. The body. Physiology and nonverbal. Okay, so this part is one of my favorite parts of the presentation. Physical space, clothing and appearance. Physical space. If somebody is here, oh, how can I bore you for a second? Oh, you can stand right here. Stand right here. Right here. So I'm going to walk up to you and say hi, my name is Jamal, and you need to tell me your name, okay? This is the first part, okay? Are going to shake hands? Yep. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> my name is Jamal. Your name? Hi, my name is Hal. Hal, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, great. That's the first one. Has anybody ever seen that before? Mm -hmm. Nothing complicated about that. Notice the amount of space, right? This is very Canadian. Canadians, I don't want to offend anybody, but Canadians are very... Give me my space. Stay away from me. Hey, yeah, I'm Canadian, yeah. <laughs> this is the next part. Number two. Second scenario. Hi, my name is Jamal. Nice to meet you. Yeah, great tea. <laughs> right? That's number two, right? What did you What did you notice? Just, just, just tell me what you noticed in the second one, the first one. So like a Chinese culture, like Asian culture. Yes. We're getting closer. Yes. Yes, for sure. And anybody else? So, for this case, that not only is the fact that it's a pattern that people come out uh, because people are familiar. Um, yes. Like if it's your family or your friend, yeah. you don't mind. It's a stranger. I go up to Fazer right now and say, hey, my name is Jamal, and I'm this close to him. He's going to be like, why are you so close to <laughs> We're not dating. <laughs> so, and that's the thing. This is number three now. Okay? Hey, my name's Jamal. What's your name? My name's Hal. Hey, Cal. Let's walk with me. Talk with me here. So, uh, okay. So, what did you notice here? Uh, <laughs> you're my friend. <laughs> you said you're my boss. <laughs> your friends, your, nobody else does that? Your coworkers or nobody? No, we do that like, just like, oh, uh, just. I'm like a Canadian, like, hey! <laughs> not, not like yeah. that. <laughs> right? It's, uh, certain people, you have to be very comfortable with yourself, very confident. I can do that to how, uh, just because I'm very confident. I, I like my energy, and I, I give off good energy. If I know that he doesn't like that, I'm not going to obviously be chasing him around and going, hug me! Hug me! I'm not going to do that, right? But I like to use that physical space to give people good energy. Energy is all around us. Right? So you want to give off good energy, and that can actually help him. I don't know, maybe having a bad day. My conversation with him could help him, right? So that's my little scenario. You can have a seat. Anyway, give a, a big hand for Hal for helping.